Going on everybody, Bruce with Medusa Exotics. Tiffany's over there laying in the bed. You know she's happy married. Exactly. Being happy pregnant. Married. Does she talk yeah, about you? Reading through her phone. Making fun of people. She got pregnant, she got kind of mean. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys go here, but she got pregnant, she got kind of mean. <laughs> so, uh, today I'm making a video for, uh, dude, I don't know how to say this, but <laughs> Duncan's, Duncan's, Duncan's Pythons, brother, it's for you, uh, I'm sorry if I'm getting the name wrong, just make a goddamn video and say it, so that way I can, like, <laughs> hear and say it myself, because, listen, I'm Puerto Rico, I got an accent, uh, but first I got a few shoutouts, I got four shoutouts, to Duncan's Pythons. I think I just said it right. Duncan's Pythons. That's, what I said. That's some fucked up shit. Uh, to Manuel's Reptiles, because he's always, you know, showing some love and all that. And he's pretty good. And I'm Puerto Rican, so I can send Manuel pretty good. Sorry. <laughs> it's turned to a racist video. <laughs> I don't think I'm racist, people. Uh, Reese's. Oh, now it turned to. It went from white to Puerto Rican. Well, white, Hispanic to black. <laughs> <laughs> Reese's, <laughs> Reese's, you're great, dog. Keep on doing your work, bro. I love you. You know, I love your videos. They're pretty cool. Angel, my man, you know, I love you, dog. I just seen you today. Early when we picked up the mice and all that. Keep doing your work. 18 ball pythons, though? What, what the fuck happened? How the fuck you get there? Comment below and let me know what happened. Uh, so, yeah, let's, here you go. So, everybody, you guys can go follow their, uh, subscribe to their channels. And all that. I don't know if Angel actually has one, but I think he does. I'm not sure. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about breeding, mostly uh how to get your males to breed. If you hear something in the background, it's just Tiffany watching. What is it? Why did I get married to? Uh, Tyler Perry, I think it is. Uh, yeah, Tyler Perry. Um, so uh, there's a few ways that people do it. I don't know. It's different for everybody. Me, I don't really usually have a problem with breeding. My male's always, you know, they ready to go. Like, if you go on my Instagram, you see that probably like two weeks ago, the banana was locked up with my pinstripe. Uh, they just go straight for it. I don't really cool down the room or nothing. I don't really let the temperatures fall. I don't raise the temperatures all the way high either. Um, tricks for your males, as long as they're 450 grams, I'll say. I mean, I had a banana that bred at 275 grams. And it's because the trick that I'm about to show you now. So, for example, you'll grab this lavender albino here. And he's like, I think he's like somewhere around 360 grams. That's how we weighed him. Beautiful little animal. Lavender albino have for five. And. I'll come up here. And this is my pie. This is the pastel pie. He still is up for sale, so just let me know if you want him. And um, what you'll do is you'll grab this male, and this male. See, he's almost getting there. You'll put your male. Don't move your male from that cage. Grab the male you want to breed. So you just grab out his cage and put him in there with him. And you just let them there and they, you know, they're going to go like, you know, they're going to like start like pressing against each other. And it's going to look like they're fighting, but they're not really going to hurt each other. It's just dominance, I guess. But that will push the one that doesn't want to breathe for the hemipenes to grow, actually. Like, it helps the hemipenes grow. You'll see a growth spur on the hemipenes. Um, the bigger snake will also pee around, you know, like sitting around his cage, like it's his cage. So that'll push even more for the smaller snake or the, or the snake that doesn't want to breathe to actually breathe you'll see them eat them more you'll see them like i said the hemipenes will grow a lot faster uh, and another way is i don't think i have one right now oh uh, yeah i don't have one right now but uh for example let's say you didn't want to do this put both of your males together Shit. Uh, put both of your mouths together, right? What you'll do is, let's say that big male pie shedded, and I grab his shed, 
and put it in with the lavender albino. And remember, it still has a scent and all that, so it still make those hemipenes grow, and uh, it will give them that that challenge, like it's competition. And um, if your fa if your female doesn't want to breed, you can actually do that too. When the male sheds, put it in with the female, any female you want, and it will usually entice the female to you know want to lock up and all that. Um, so that's method number two, the, the shed one. Uh. Method number three is people usually like, usually when uh, the breeding season starts, which is, I started in November for me, although they lock up year round, you guys, Tiffany, they lock up year round, but uh, I wish the camera would pick up its colors, but um, yeah, uh, you'll cool it down, put it down to like, I think it's like 82, 83, uh, for a whole like month and a half or so, and then you'll just bump it up again to like, 87 88 you know and uh that kind of mimics spring i guess uh winter and spring for them sound like that I, I don't really know how to, i think that's what it is exactly yeah when you lower down something they think it's winter you raise it up they think it's spring so it entices them to breed grow follicles for the females and all that then makes them you know want to breed for the males uh, for example, the albino, he won't be ready to breed for another two months if he don't if he don't put on like at least another 150 grams. That pot is ready to breed. He's a 2014. He'll get locked up a few times. One of my some of my females where he goes. Hopefully, uh, this guy right here, he ain't gonna be ready to breed for another psh, another year. Uh, he is in shed. You guys seen him in the last video. He's a GHI Mojave. He ate three hoppers, and after he ate the three hoppers, he just straight went on shed. So you know, he still has a little car right there. It's a little messed up. Still kind of cool. But he's a cool animal, and he won't be ready to breed until, like I said, next year. Not even if I even power feed him, he won't be ready. Uh, so yeah, you know, this is too, way too young to even consider a breed. Uh, for your females, let them be at least 1,500 grams, they say. But I'll push for like 1,800. Because remember, when, once she lays that clutch, she's going to lose. Let's say she's 1,800 grams. And the clutch she lays is 600 grams. Six eggs, 600 grams. And she's losing 600 grams and she's going back to 1,200. So, you know, the, the heavier she is the less weight she'll lose and the better it is for next season because then you gotta like make sure she gets all that weight back and she might not eat because she misses the eggs even after you wash her and all that or she might go on a fasting mode and you know you never know because like my uh where she at my uh silver streak lesser slash butter because I, th I still think they have the same gene uh she only eats rap pups and it's pretty annoying because not everybody got rap ups. I mean, we got a good um, rap breeder. She sells, you know, she delivers and all that to a certain spot. We go pick them up. Uh, SOS Express. Pretty sure you guys heard about them. But, uh, yeah, she don't really eat regular rats. Like, she just, she's an African software eater. And, uh, she's... It's pretty annoying. I said it's not easy to find sometimes. But she's cool because she's paradox in a few places now that I'm looking at her. I got her tail. It's got that normal color. Uh, let me see. Her neck has that normal color. And a little bit more in the back and all that. I mean, she's still girthy. As you can see, she's still gaining weight, getting big and all that. Uh, I was gonna pair the Mojave to her, but he's gone. Then I was gonna pair uh, goddamn um, banana, but we saw that Brian. I'm pretty sure I shot him out last video, and uh, GHI won't be ready for her. Uh, the only males we have are the GHI and the lavender albino and the pie, because those are the genes that I'm really focusing in pie stuff. It seems to be valuable now. 
uh, it's been underrated for so long, and now it's like valuable again. But I did breed my banana to this girl a couple times, and they did lock a couple times. So I'm hoping she retains the sperm, and we'll get some banana pods. And he was from a female maker, so hopefully we'll get some female banana pinstripes and all that banana females, regular banana females. Hopefully, but that we'll see. And uh, like I said before, the pie goes. He's gonna breed to some of these humans. Gonna throw them around. See what happens. Uh, there's an expo coming up soon. And I do have a few offers of trade for the pie, but I'm not sure if the males are worth it. Cause if if I can't use it, then what I want it for? I don't want to get stuck with an animal I can't sell or uh, won't use. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. Hopefully everybody likes the video. Uh, if you have any specific questions, just do what Duncan did, you know. He just hit me up, you know. We text for like a whole hour and a half, I think. Pretty cool guy. Uh, go check his channel out, like I said. Here you go if y'all need it again. For every single one of them. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So if any other, anybody has a question, I'll leave my email down in the description. And I'll leave my... Uh, number and all that so thanks for watching